how you doing welcome back to my channel so today what I'm gonna be cooking is some curry shrimp some salmon with some spinach spread over the salmon with some rice so stay with me and you'll see how I prepare these dishes I'll take you over and show you what I already started so far I'm cooking some tomato and guys this is like an African dish that's how they cook their stew. So all this in that pot is some tomatoes that I blend up and I'm cooking it into a stew form, which I'll add the spinach to it. And it's pretty messy. If you can see, it's all over the place. So I have to keep it close and it's gonna go down into a stew form, all right? Now over here, I'm doing some curry shrimp. And that is a shrimp. These are some jumbo shrimp that I picked up from Sam's. And I'm gonna curry them the Jamaican way, all right? Now over here is some salmon. I normally just get a half of a salmon and cut it up in different pieces. And I will normally go ahead and fry them into different, different steaks. So that's what I'm gonna do and I'm gonna season that over. Now this is a spinach that I'll be using to put into that tomato sauce. And that is the rice that I use, that's the jasmine, Manhattan jasmine gluten-free non-gmo y'all know all right and this is my cutting board i'm going to be cutting up my onions to go on all these fish and the shrimp all right so stay tuned and you will see how i throw this meal down all right so first thing that i'm going to do is start seasoning up those shrimp so see how i do that so as i show you guys that's what the shrimp look like and I'm gonna go over here, which is to my season cabinet, and I'm gonna start seasoning. All right, this is my season cabinet, and it's not organized. Not that interested in organizing this, of course not. So, as I said, there's gonna be some curry shrimp, so it's gonna be some Jamaican curry. And I'm gonna start adding all of this to it. I just added some meat and ants. I do not cook without that. And of course, I'm gonna check my stew over here to make sure it's not burnt. And guys, it is really coming if it will stop propping everywhere. Is that a word, propping? Whichever one. So you gotta keep watching it at this stage to make sure it's not burnt. And it's everywhere on my floor, guys. I'm gonna to have to really clean this up. All right, so I just had the meat in answer. Now I'm gonna go in with some curry. Now I'm using two different type of curry. I'm gonna use the Indian curry and some regular Jamaican hot curry, all right? Now this is what my Indian curry look like. And guys, this take the flavor to another level, I'm telling you, to another level. And I don't have on any makeup. Who cooks in makeup? All right, so I added a good amount of Indian curry. And the reason why I'm using two different curry, the Indian curry is a darker than the regular curry, so I do want it to look yellowish. So that's why I'm going with the Jamaican mountain. This is the Mount Blue Mountain curry. If I can get it together. And I'm also gonna add some Jamaican all-purpose season. That's what it looks like. And now these are the only season that I use. I use this one and the meat enhancer and garlic powder. Y'all know how I feel about my garlic powder. Ghetto garlic powder, right? Yes! All right. So I'm gonna add my all-purpose seasoning. And I just eyeball this. And I'm gonna look for my garlic powder. And that's what it looks like. Now you can be ghetto with your garlic powder. All right? And I did not use this because I had some in another bottle. So that's good for that. Then I'm gonna go back over here and I'm gonna cut up some onions and add to it. Stay tuned. All right, so before I go in and finish the shrimp, I'm gonna go ahead and add my spinach to the stew and I'll show you what it looks so like. That's what the stew look like. And I'm gonna go ahead and add the spinach to it. Okay, now that I added my spinach, 
that's what it looks like so I have to go ahead and now season this properly I'm gonna be using some mangi that's the season most Nigerian use so it's like a spinach stew on top of salmon that's what it's gonna be like so there's no really name for this dish that's what it looks like and I'll be finishing it up and show you guys what it looks like thank you all right so now I have a lot of things popping a lot of things popping so here I have some coconut oil that hasn't melted yet because I have no fire yet and in the back there's some shrimp that's going I'm just waiting for the water to dry out now over here I have my fish already seasoning and these are the ingredients that I use that's my meat in answer garlic powder and there's a twist do you see that fish, sang um, fish season right there yes and then of course that is my virgin coconut oil that I use along with all my seasoning I'm gonna shake this fish up and it should be ready to go already so yes my stew is finished the rice is steaming at the back so if you could see on my rice I have a little different thing going here on the rice I have a foil because I want my rice to steam you see what it looks like I like my rice to look very attractive so I use the foil paper if that's how you guys pronounce it and I put my stove on low and I just have the rice steam again because the rice that I use is that non GMO gluten free rice cooks pretty quickly all right so that's what I have popping the only thing left for me to do is to fry these fishes and I will show you guys what they look like while I fry them and how this pot really works I don't even remember what the names well look at the color guys you guys cannot miss it all right stay tuned so I don't know if some of you guys know that I changed the way that I eat I'm somewhat a vegetarian but I do eat fish and I do eat seafood let me say that I do eat seafood but I'm staying away from meat and I'll do a separate video as to what made me to make this leap I'm actually doing this now for around six months if so far four months somewhere there but I'm around that area and it's been great challenging a little very challenging to find and to create different meals that do not consist of chicken and I love me some chicken now so anyway that's why I'm cooking this type of meal and this is for dinner for, for the rest of the week so stay tuned and watch how I finish that shrimp it's smelling so good all right guys so right now I'm frying these fishes and as soon as I fry them I'll take them out and put them in this container here so again these are the salmon that I slice into small pieces and I'm going ahead and frying them and the oil that I'm using again is that coconut oil everything else on the stove is completed so guys I am almost there I am so excited stay tuned and see how this pot turn these wonderful fishes into brown beautiful crispy fishes all right. all right so that is what the fish look like after I fry them look crispy but very soft on the inside and at the finished meal that's what it looks like that's the spinach and that's the rice and I'm gonna tap it off with some probiotics juice all right so that's my dinner hope you guys enjoyed this video again that's some white rice some spinach on top of some salmon and some probiotics drink and that is the fish all right so I think that's it guys I showed you guys everything else so thank you guys for watching thank you guys for subscribing and I'll see you guys on my very next video. Bye-bye. God bless.